Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me back here for another Freddy Cook's International Soul Food Mini Mini Mukbang and today we are here with Indian burritos and deep fried snow crab legs. Alright, so before I even get started, I gotta say my grace and then I'll be right with you. Well, thank you for this food that I'm about to receive, the nourishment and strength of my body for Christ's sakes. I thank you for provision in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. All right, so today, super, super duper excited. This is my first time eating today after drinking water all day. And so, <laughs> it's going down. I have Indian burritos. Yes, if you know Indians eat burritos, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Actually, um, if you can see the inside of that, I prepared these with the leftover Indian food. Know it's going to be delicious. Inside of these, I will... Actually, I'll share with you what's in there. So, I'll let you get the first bite. You can have it because it's going to be delicious. So delicious. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it or not, but there you are. Take a bite. Here we are. Mm. 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 Yeah. That's super delicious. Super de duper de good. So juicy, flavorful. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. Wait, no, I'm not. <laughs> that was just too good. I am not mad at that at all. That's what I'm drinking today. good. This is my first time ever having deep fried crab legs. I've always wanted it. I've seen mukbangers do it. And it always looks so delicious, especially the crunch on there. <clears throat> the ones on the bottom got a little done too much more than I wanted to, but the ones on the top here looks pretty good. Ah, so that's why I put them on the top so you can see. Now, I'm going to try this for the very first time. And I'm also going to try it with two different sauces. Today I have, I'm going to try Sweet Baby Ray's Secret Sauce. Never had it. One thing I didn't pay attention to when I first got it is that it has um, a mild blend of horseradish sauce. And I do not like horseradish. So, I don't know what this is going to be like. But we'll see. And I guess this is real crap. I got these from Publix. 
seafood department and they sold them for D shell snow crab legs. But I have my suspicion about them. It didn't say imitation crab. It specifically said D shell snow crab. I didn't see imitation anywhere around it, but I don't know. It's just a little suspicious. But anyways, if Subway can sell fake fish and get away with it, then Publix can too. I'm just playing. I don't know. Have y'all heard about the Subway lawsuit? The uh, lady saying that Subway sell, sold them fake fish. And I don't believe it because I, um, I love... I don't say I love like that, but I do like Subway's tuna. I mean, it's nothing special. It's just tuna fish. But I, when I add the mayo and mustard and onions and all the other stuff to it, it's good to me. Tastes like fish, smell like fish, look like fish, tuna fish that is. But um, I don't know. I just think they're just trying to sue. But if they win the lawsuit, I'm going to need some money too because I've eaten tons of their tuna fish in the skies of real fish. So if they determine that whatever there is they're selling at Subway is not fish, then I'm going to need me. I need, I need the class action to follow through on my way too. Anyways, this is what it looks like. This is the deep fried. It's not really deep fried, but it's pan fried. Snow crab, and I'm gonna taste this sweet baby Ray secret sauce. I shouldn't have put so much on there if I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but let's see. Mm. It's not bad. I do taste that hint of horseradish that almost turned me off. But I can dip it again. Yeah. I can probably throw this away. I don't think I'm going to ever eat it. If you like horseradish sauce, then you probably would actually love this because it doesn't taste bad. It actually tastes pretty good, but I'm just not a fan of the horseradish throwing me off. Yes, I'm dipping it one more time to clear this out of here. See, I don't hate it. That's the only thing that's throwing me off. I'm also going to try today this garlic and chili. What is it? Oh, I thought this said garlic and chili. It's garlic and chill wings and things sauce. Let's see how I like that. I didn't feel like mixing up no sauce today, so I was hoping something that I had would actually work well with this deep fried. So I hope this is good. Let's see what that's like. That's a little stronger than I prefer. I don't know if I like that either. And I don't know why not. I don't like it with this, but it's, what can I eat this with? 
Maybe I can eat this with some celery. Yeah, I can eat it. I can, I can, I can stand that with celery. It's not doing it. It's not doing it for me with this crab. I gotta figure out some kind of dip for this. Mm. Yeah, that's good. I gotta dip it in something though. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. So I found some Captain D's tartar sauce. That'll work. And old faithful standby. Louisiana hot sauce. That'll work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now we're talking. How y'all doing out there? Things are pretty good over here. Um, you're not getting full. There has, has been some good things that has happened to me this year, 2021. I'm still here. And so are you. And I know you're here. Because I can hear you breathing. <laughs> but no. First things first, I'm still here, still blessed, still healthy. Thanking God that I have not been compromise with the C-19. Thank God. Um, now, this is something that's really great that's happened. I met, well, I talked to my dad for the very first time ever this year. Um, for those of you who may I may have shared with before early on in my channel, my grandparents adopted me. Never met my dad. Um, never had any ill feelings at all. Just never met him. I had a good life, great life. So I really, I didn't miss what I never had, you know, but, um, it was really nice to be able to connect. Um, I was really nervous for a long time <clears throat> only because I didn't know how to, how to feel, you know, as somebody that I never really knew. So I didn't really have any feelings whatsoever. So it was just kind of nerve wracking to me to actually meet for the first to meet for the first time. I haven't met him yet in, in real life, but I have talked to him. Good news is that, um, you know, I don't hold grudges. I don't hold any type of animosity. I understand things happen um, like when you're young and have kids. Um, all that's important is that he decided to reach out to me later in life, which I was finally open to after not <laughs> contacting him a year. Like he, I had his number, but like I said, it was just hard for me to make that move. But, um, which reminds me, I probably need to call him and just see how he's doing. But it's, it's been great to be able to begin to get to know my dad. So that's something that's really good that has happened this year. I never thought that I would talk to him or see him. So I just, that was the farthest thing in my mind. I never thought about it. And then my mom told me that my father was looking for me. And then I was like, oh, 
Okay. And so here we are um, beginning a new relationship. And so we'll just see where it goes from there. I'm open to continue a great relationship with him. Um, so that's great. Um, and I just got a raise on my job that you all know, whoever who's been here with me before, that I um, resigned from a previous job. And I started a new job and it allowed me to move where I am here to be able to work from home and keep the same job that I had before I moved from Georgia. So that's pretty cool. It's all game. That's all game, baby. <laughs> Um, this is so good. It's like with each bite, my taste bud thanks me. Let's say, oh, thank you. There's that taste again. There's that flavor again. Thank you. Mmm. And again. I really didn't have much to talk about today. I just came through to share this with you. Plus, again, it was my first time ever having deep fried crab legs. That I try it. And like I said, I'm still not sure if this is real crab, but you can pretty much fry up anything and it tastes good. And this is not disappointing. My camera's about to cut off. I'm going to have to restart it. Mm. And that's good. Whoever eat hot sauce on crab legs? I don't know if I've seen that before. It's like a fish stick. Hot sauce is really good though. Excuse me. Mm. Man. Mm. This is the time where I need me some be love salt, man. I need to start keeping me a little bit in their freezer at all times. And just defrost it and go. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. I'm going to show y'all. Hang on. Got something in the mail today. And I'm going to show you what it is. If you watched my Change is good video where I'm sharing, sharing with you me the process of me redecorating my living room. Then you would know that I'm making some interior interior decor changes. And this should be some curtains. I think, yeah. That's what it should be. Okay, so let me show you what curtains. I really was not ready to hang curtains yet, but I had these saved in my um, shopping cart, and I saw that they only had two more pairs left, and I was like, "Well, I really wanted them," and so I just I went ahead and ordered them. So. Just to make sure they didn't sell out of them. Um, not that I couldn't find some more, but I really wanted these. And that's what they look like. They're gold. And let's see. Is that what I expected? I don't know. I think that's exactly what I expected. Let me see if it looks different out of the plastic. Yeah, that's pretty nice. If you can see. So these are the curtains that I'm going to be hanging. I'm going to do gold, copper, and white, maybe, and black in my living room. So stay tuned for that if you want to see what that looks like. Um, if you haven't checked out the changes, if you're interested in interior design and um, interior decor, all that good stuff, then check that video out. Not that it's like whole bunch going on yet but I am going to be changing so you can go along with me on the journey that's all for now folks thank you so much for joining me if you're still here Freddie Cooks International Soul Food Mukbang um until later stay blessed